Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Now, before I begin, uh, I just wanted to say the reason I haven't been uploading lately is because I haven't been really in the mood to record. Um, but I'm back now to do an, uh, a review, and I'm going to start making videos. I promise I will. Uh, next, Starting next week, I'm going to hopefully make a video every week. I'm going to try to anyway. But anyways, let's get into this mod review. Today's mod is... Bi uh, wrong one. Today's mod is uh, Carpenter's Blocks. Now, what Carpenter's Blocks is... Uh, Carpenter's Blocks is just an amazing block... Um, amazing block, an amazing mod that lets you change many many things into the block you want. So for example, uh, one, a carpenter's block is pretty much, this is what a carpenter's block looks like and now what you do is you can right click and this block will turn into the block of your choice in your hand. Now it doesn't make, well, I guess it does make sense, so if I have one diamond block and I want my house to be made of diamond blocks but I only have one and it's survival, you could put these down and then build your house and make it look like diamond blocks and I just totally messed up right there but whatever uh, so as you can see that's pretty much what that does and it's pretty pretty cool and then when you break it uh, you get diamond blocks back now actually hold on hold the phone I believe I've been mistaken uh, okay never mind so when you place it down a block it takes that block and turns it into it so I'm not entirely sure why you would even need a carpenter's block, but um, whatever. I think it's like to make the stairs and whatnot. But anyways, moving on. That's what carpenter block does. Now, carpenter's barrier, which is a carpenter's fence, has a different model from the normal fence. Normal fences will go as like this. As you can see, there's a post for every section of fence. This one, well, this one is much more cleaner and, in my opinion, looks 1,000 times or million times better and I absolutely love it. I don't like the normal fence. It's just too blah. And same thing goes with the carpenter's blocks. You can right-click and change it to whatever you desire. And now, for woods like this that have a directional, uh, you can either have it sideways like that, and as you can see, it will go sideways like that. Or if you have it up and down, top will be like that, and then it'll go like that. So it's just like placing a normal uh, sideways block. That the block can go sideways. You just would do that uh, angle yourself so you could place it correctly. Um, with the carp with the carpenter's barrier slash fence. So that's what that does. Now moving on to the carpenter's button. Obviously, you probably guys can already guess. It's a button. And I can make the button whatever I want. Functions the same way. Let me just get some redstone, put down some bookshelves and as you can see, and it lights up and it works. So it's just like a normal button, but you can make it look better. Alright, carpenter's collapsible block, I'm gonna get to in a little bit. So I'm not going to do that one quite yet, and let me just get rid of that. Alright, Carpenter's Daylight Sensor. Obviously you guys know what this does probably right away. It's a daylight sensor. It works just the same way. You can change what material you want. So I got if I want a diamond daylight sensor, you can do that. Although, you, unfortunately, you can't change the inside of the daylight sensor, which is a little bit of a shame, but that's okay, though. So that's the daylight sensor, obviously. Carpenter's Flower Pot self-explanatory place it down gotta make it out of diamond blocks if you want to and you can still put flowers in it so I'm just gonna go ahead and get a, a poppy or a rose and just uh, throw it in there oops oh yeah forgot you have to put uh, dirt in there so let's put some dirt in there so there's some dirt in there and boom boom and we got ourselves flowers all right so that's what that does moving on to the carpenter's gate Obviously, you know what this does already. Acts the same way as a normal gate. Opens and closes. Opens and closes on which direction you are. And we can change it to whatever uh, we want to. And it's not updating just yet. There we go. And so you can have stone gate, diamond gate. Any block on here, well, most of them, not all of them, don't quote me on that, can be used. And, um, yeah. So that's what that does. All right, moving on. We have the carpenter's hatch, which is the same thing as a trap door. As you can see, trap door, although this is really, really cool. We can open it, and as you can see, make it out of wood. I can make a diamond locks if I want to. I think that is really cool. Uh, but there's another feature we can do with that hatch later, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and save those, but whatever. All right, hold on. Let me just clear my inventory of all this junk. And I'm just going to keep the collapsible blocks for a little bit and just delete all this stuff, don't need it. Okay, moving on to the ladder. Now the ladders are really cool. If you want a freestanding ladder, 
and you don't want to have to like have it up against the wall and it just is going to ruin everything well this mod allows you to have um, self self standing ladders and again we can change it to whatever material we want so I can have a bookshelf one a stone one you know just any block I'm not going to go through all of them so that's pretty much that does and um Alright, so moving on, and when you break it, it actually stays like that, so you can have it like almost where you have to jump and get on. And they move the same way, as you can see I'm climbing, and both sides of the ladder are climbable, so that is a definite plus. Alright, moving on to the carpenter's lever, the carpenter's pressure plate, carpenter's safe, and then the slopes I will get to after these. And then I'm going to actually do the uh, tile, or I'll do the tile later, I'm going to do the bed into the door. So, carpenter's lever, you can probably guess, change the lever to whatever you want. Just boom, boom. And we can have all different types of uh, different types of levers. So yeah, and they work the same. Redstone, I'm not going to really show you that because they do. Just trust me on that. And we're going to look at the carpenter's bed now, the pressure plate, and the safe. So the safe, what it is, is it's a a chest and in multiplayer you are the only one that is able to open it so that is pretty pretty cool and you see it has a little like little door thing if you look real closely real fast right there but you kinda see and you can make that out of gold or diamond block I mean you can make it out of whatever you want so I can have it like this oh I just did that I could have it like this it could look like a log and no one would notice I could have it in my tree alright so that's that the pressure plate obviously Golden pressure plate. All different kinds of pressure plates. And that's how that works. And they all, again, admit redstone. Now, Carpenter's bed, I think, is extremely cool. The, this bed model is way better than this bed model. As you can see, it just looks a thousand times better. And uh, it's not like flat and it's not bugged. It's not bugged. And um, same thing. You can replace the frame only. You can only replace the fla f flame frame. Unfortunately, yet you can't, and um, you can't change the wool. But hopefully, in the future, that will be a um, an added bonus. And now, when you sleep, I actually need it at nighttime. When you sleep, a cool little feature happens. I'm under the blankets. See this? Look at this. I'm under the blankets. So yeah, that's pretty much that does, and it's daytime now again, so, alright. But that is what those two uh, do. Now, moving on to the carpenter's door, and this is where I'm going to start getting into the carpenter's chisel and the carpenter's hammer. Now the door, you can change to any block you want. Now you have to have, you have to right click on both sections of the door in order for it to work because it is a two block um, thing. And then, you can see I can change it to, change it to a stone door, change it to anything. Now, Moving on to the chisel and hammer, and I'm also going to be showing off the collapsible block. What the collapsible block does, it's just a normal block. I can make it into, uh, I'm going to make it into diamond so you can clearly see it. Now, with the chisel on the carpenter's block, if you right click it, or the collapsible block, if you right click it, it will ch put these little patterns on it. And same thing goes for the door. So if I make this door diamond, I can right click on each side and I can do pretty much anything I want. I can do creeper face and then that's pretty much what that does. Now moving on to, I'm going to actually show off the carpenter's tile. When you place a carpenter's tile down and right click with the chisel, or is it left click? Oops, I broke it. Uh, oops, I broke it again. Actually that is the hammer, my bad. But now what the hammer does is if you right click a door, it'll change what the door is. You can have a gate, uh, this cool little... Um, window design thing, solid or just a whole window. Now, what the what the hammer does on the collapsible block is it literally. Oops, you have to. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Where is it? The chisel. Hold on. Oh, there we go. If you left click, it will actually. Dang it! I'm shift right clicking. That's why. It will actually take it down. So as you can see, the block is slowly slowly starting to like just dis like disappear before me I'm pressing the wrong blocks my bad okay and as you can see you can make it into like any like 
slope thing you want. It's really cool so you can make that kind of thing, whatever that is. Now if you right click the carpenter's tile with the hammer, you get tiles. And now if you have like a whole field of tiles and you don't want to have to place, or if you don't want to have to like use the hammer on all of them, you can just do this. Or actually just defeated the purpose, so hold on. If I wanted that tile right there, and I wanted to lay a big area, all you'd have to do is this. You just lay it next to it, and it um, becomes tile. So that's a really neat feature, although you have to like place it like right there on the half of the block, like closest to it. If I place this block right, half right there, it's not going to do it, but if I place it right there, it'll do it. You guys can hopefully see what I'm trying to talk about. <clears throat> but that is pretty much what that does. Uh, I can just put this all in my inventory. Now, moving on to where this mod gets its name. Oh, I didn't do the carpenter's torch. Obviously, you guys know what the torch does. I can turn a torch into diamond. Although, that seems to be bugged right there. Okay, whatever. Also, has a slip. Uh, it sits differently than how normal torches uh, usually sit like, like that. Well, actually, no, they're the same. Never mind. I'm just talking whatever. Well, that's what the carpenter's torch does. Now, moving on to where this mod gets its name. The slopes. There is many different kinds of slopes. There is wedge slope, in oblique interior slope, oblique exterior slope, prism slope, prism wedge slope, and stairs. Now, all of these can be achieved with just a normal slope, but the way you get those other shapes is by using a hammer. And you just right click on a hammer, and as you can see, you get all different types of slopes. So we have, uh, we see we have our normal slopes here. I'm just going to lay down our normal slopes, and we also got our normal stairs. Now these slopes, you right-click with your block of choice, and they will turn into that block of choice, like all the others. So I make these all lapis lazuli, and I make all these stairs lapis lazuli. And as you can see, it um, turns to lapis lazuli. Now with the hammer, you just right-click or you left-click. Uh, yeah, left click, and with left click, thing does it rotates it like that. And if you have it upside down, it'll rotate it like that. If you have it like in this type of wedge, you can rotate that wedge into any corner. If it's like this, which is an upside down wedge, you can just rotate that any corner. Left clicking or right clicking changes the actual shape. So we have this little slope here. Left clicking again just rotates it, and right clicking changes it. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna go through all of them real quickly. We have this. Uh, this one, that one, which is kind of weird, um, that one, we have this little pyramid thing, which is really, really cool, uh, we have the upside down one, again, they just get rotated, well, this one, can't even notice, it's being rotated, uh, now we have where this would come in handy on a roof, and so you can see it has, it's like straight, and then it comes down a little, and then we have this, which be mostly used on a roof, because if you want to have a roof come to a, a complete point, instead of using stairs like this, Oops, using stairs like this. This just comes to a complete point and it's much better and I've used it and yeah. We have this one where we would make a turn if you have a turned house. We have this one right here. And then we have it like in a four corners. And then as you can see there's just a whole different bunch of combinations. And that's pretty much what that does. Stairs you just right click and it just gets rotated and then um, yeah, if you right click them you can get special special little like things like that that would be hard to get in the game and then just rotate it with the uh, left click and then it's not rotating for some dumb reason okay whatever oh my game is just being dumb okay now it's working but as you can see it's just being rotated and that's how that would work okay so what else is there to show off um that is pretty much everything in this uh, mod as you can see it's just really awesome, and I actually have a demonstration of, of using this, so I'm going to go into that world right now, and I will see you in a second. Alright, so here's what I, um, I was building this in my free time offline, but uh, this is an example of a roof I built. As you can see, um, the roof is just, like, incredibly amazing, and I apparently forgot those. Okay, whatever, that must, that's, like, bugged a little, but as you can see, perfect slopes. Perfect slopes, so as you can see, it's upside down here, right side up here. And then those little guys that you were thinking, well, where would I use those? Well, this is exactly where you would use them. So you can see they come to an exact point. And then as you can see right here, we've got that entire corner one that just splits off like that. And that comes to a point. As you can see, my roof is completely 
completely flattened and smooth and this house uh, I was building this in my free time this is actually a different mod as you can see here I used the carpenter's block that's a different mod the stairs right there made this little arc with the mod made that right there made that right there made it right there uh, all this stuff is actually a different mod so so yeah if you're wondering um, yeah but this is just the house I was been building here's the stairs I used I haven't uh, actually put my ch block choice here's the doors I've been using uh, this is a just completely different mod uh, most of this furniture in here um, yeah that's pretty much what I did with the stairs the stairs these stairs are actually carpenters are just normal stairs actually and then just just my house yeah get out of my house uh, yeah you guys can stay in let's watch some TV uh, this is actually Mr. Crayfish's mod, this TV right here, and then the this table, these couches, these bedside tables, these uh, lampshade, these lamps, that light right there, that fire alarm right there, and uh, that's also, that's a different mod. Uh, but yeah, so that is pretty much all what this does. We can just watch TV. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this awesome mod review. I'll have the download link in the description, and if you want me to do a review of all the other mods, that you see in my house right now. Uh, I will do that, but just let me know if you want me to. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, next week, I'll hopefully, up hopefully try to upload a video every day. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later, and goodbye.